Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Today the goal is to finish up some quests and hopefully be able to get to where we want to be in the story. Um, which is the High Antia Tomb. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hold on a minute because we gotta go to a Tefra Cave. And I don't know where any of this stuff is, so I'm just gonna go right to the beginning and then we'll find out. Do we just need some golden, golden caterpillars? We're not going to do the one that requires us to go find Ferris and all that stuff in the Magna Forest and all that. Mostly because of the fact that I know that it's going to be a massive pain to actually do that stuff. Because random drops are random and it's never fun. Random drops are never fun in any game. Especially when, like, the rarer it gets, the worse it is. But hey, you know what? It's not that bad. Again, at this point, there is a schedule in place for how we're playing games. It is Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition to, uh... Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition on Mondays... Okay, hold on. Monday, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays... Tears of the Kingdom on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That is the current plan. That's what I hope it stays as. So that's in areas I haven't really been to before. What the heck? I guess we're about to find out. behind this rock thing again. I don't know how to get past that. We might not be able to do this quest line. <coughs> However, we should be able to get the golden caterpillar that's over here. Nothing should bother us because we are literally 30 levels above everything here. So nothing should bother us. Um... I don't know. If we get this one and there's no more other than the other... Wow, because we need three exactly, and there's only three left in here. Son of a gun. Wait a minute, what? It's a bit odd. This map's a bit odd. Anyways, I beat Tears of the Kingdom yesterday. I did, I did it. Um... All I'm going to say is, that final boss fight is not the easiest thing in the world. <coughs> it took me a few tries. Okay, I don't... I'm going to pause for a second because I don't necessarily remember how I get things to respawn. So I'll be right back. We'll be right back if uh, OBS ever wants to re Never mind, I forgot there was a golden caterpillar up here. <coughs> that should be the last one we need, I believe. No, seven, eight. Well, darn it. And that didn't work out. So we're still missing nine. Okay, now we'll be back. Alrighty then, we're back. So I had to end. I ended up like saving and closing the game and reopening it for this stuff to respawn. But there, quest done. Or not quest done. We have to return to this man first. So we have to go back to Alchemoth again. Yay. Um. I really don't even know what this dude could be. Okay. <coughs> Very good, he's right there. He's 
Come right over to this guy. Wow! So these are gold caterpillars. They don't glow as a larva at all. I'm gonna look after them so they lay a lot of eggs. Then I can see them glow when they hatch. Okay, so that's that one done, and then this one. Get this right over this way, apparently. Or maybe downstairs, it looks like. That's what it looks like. So we're going to do this quest, and then we're going to head off and continue with main story stuff. Because I feel like we haven't done main story stuff in a few episodes, and I really prefer to do main story stuff today. Even though I'm not sure how far we'll even make it, even with it only being like 10 minutes in, or like less than 10 minutes into the video. Uh, I really, really, really don't know how far we'll make it with main story stuff. If we'll get to the boss or not. That's like the main thing. <coughs> Jeez, all the way in the little corner over here, huh? I hope I can get back to my dad, to dad and my sis. Dad asked you to come and find me. Thanks. I know he's close, but I didn't know how to get back to him from here. And now we go talk to the father. They were literally like, they, he could have seen him from there. Come on. Jeez, man. Hello. Hello. Thank you for finding my son. He's promised not to go off without telling me again. You really saved the day. My son is still full of energy. I can't keep up sometimes. But I'm still to blame for letting him out of my sight. Please, take this. A little thanks from me. <coughs> hey, we leveled up. Nice. Is this a named quest, or... Is this the same guy? You're gonna be kidding me. What is it? Oh, it's you again. Please, a moment of your time. I have another favor to ask. It's my daughter. She's gone missing to... You are a horrible father! Can you not keep your eyes on your children for two seconds? I still can't leave my son alone. I know he promised to behave, but he's just a child, you know. I'm really sorry, but could you please help me again? What's next? You're gonna lose both of them? And I guess being a kid means getting yourself lost sometimes. But you must be happy to see your children full of life, right? Of course, it makes me happy. Seeing my kids happy and active makes me happier than anything. But I'd hate for anything to happen to them, so I can't help but worry. I knew I could count on you. Thanks for helping. No problem. Leave it to me. How? How do you how do you lose both of your children? Both of them. They're less than like a mile away, dude. It's like less than a hundred steps. What are you doing? Eek! You found me, huh? You're not my brother. Daddy's been looking for me. I was just playing hide and seek. Daddy worries too much. I bet he was crying. I'd better get go back. Bye bye. Bloody, absolutely useless. How do you manage that? I swear to God, if he's got another quest of finding both of them, I am going to lose it. What is it? My daughter's safe and sound. All thanks to you. You've taken good care of both my son and daughter. Shut up, Shulk. Here, take this. It's not much, but thank you. Oh, you know what? That's a strength up four gem. What the frick? Strength up four? You gotta be kidding me. <coughs> 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 
If you couldn't tell, I'm still a little bit sick. I'm definitely better, though. I feel better. What was Aerith type? Yup. Oh, because he's got a weapon as well. Badoop. And you've got some pants. What does the pants even change? What do they change? Oh, his backpack. Okay. Alrighty thing. I think we are good to go now. We've done some of the quests in here. Well, actually, let's go check that, that quest that's up there. Let's see if that's a, um... Because if it's a, uh... I'm sorry, I'm brain farting. If it's a, a named quest, well, we can probably go ahead and do it and still have time. Hopefully. No, wait. Here. Here. There's more quests over here as well. <laughs> I just want to see if they're named characters or not. Because if it is, we can just nab them right now and do them a little bit later. Because I think we'll still have access to them for a little bit of time. Nope. So that's a little thing. By the way, if they're na if, if the ci if it just says like Alchemoth Citizen or Colony Nine Citizen or Colony Six Citizen, it's not like a named quest. So you don't really. Those are just, like, the generic quests that you get. Which are the, the boring ones in reality. The other ones at least have a bit of a story to them. Like, the dad that lost both of his kids. And they were both within, like, a hundred steps of them of him. It's like, come on, mate. What are you doing? Pay attention. He's probably, he was probably flirting with somebody else, that's why. Uh-oh, here's another one. Nello is also part of my family. So I must be nice to Nello. But Nello is bad influence on Little Pond. He should drink less. Recently, Popio's son no want to go outside. I ask why, but he no answer. He just shiver and shake. What is happening? And then Shulk and these guys talking. He does go out, but every day find no tricky place to hide. I want him to have fun outside, not stay in dark place. <coughs> yeah, kids should be playing outside with their mates. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have my friends to save my bacon. So I'd love it if you'd let me help. You'll be careful now. I might get lovey-dovey for you. Oh, Jesus. You very nice, hum hum. Handsome, hum hum. But it's a tough job for one, hum hum. Talk with friends and then decide what you do. You all nice people. I am all, all, I am all smiley smileys. But about my little pawn, Baroba, I not know what wrong with him. I want you to ask Baroba. Yes, we get it, Shulk. We've got it. Why don't you just talk to him yourself? Reason why Baro Baroba not go out? Simple. When walk outside, end up getting quick grab cuddle lift. Baroba up. What? End up getting quick grab cuddle lift Baroba up. Baroba not like when that happened. If Baroba smell bad, maybe maybe that solved problem. Well, friends bring smelly thing. Are you serious? This is a quest? This is a quest? Five ether roses from the Satoral Marsh. We'll be back. Let me go find where these things are. Looky here. Spawned in and there's one right there. And there seems to be enough. Just all throughout the Satoral Marsh, which is good. I like that. I'm a fan of that. Makes my life slightly easier. Let's open up the area map. See where else they are. Okay, so we can, I think, just go from this one and then collect them from here. The water makes us so slow. I'm gonna pause when I'll get, uh, I'll unpause when we get back to the areas.
You know, thinking about this quest line, I really don't understand how something called Ether Roses is gonna be freaking stinky. Like, eh? What? He said he wanted to be. Oh God, really? Is there no other way around? Why is there a poison swamp in this game? Just why? Everyone should learn from Dark Souls. Poison swamps are not fun. Never have been fun. I I'm thinking about it, and I'm not sure if that's how, like, poison works in this game. It like, that's why it's so good, is, like, because it deals... A percentage of enemy health or something like that? No, 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 wait. No, wait, no, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm thinking of bleed from freaking Elden Ring. And I believe the other Dark Souls games have it like that. Where even if the weapon is not very powerful, if you get the bleed status on them, it deals damage based on their health. <coughs> I think it's always that it does a percentage of their health, is what it is. I don't know. I didn't play Elden Ring for too long. I wasn't a, the biggest fan of it. I'm not a huge fan of difficult games, so... Probably just use this one. It's probably the easiest way to get to it. From the looks of it, maybe. Yeah. Definitely. So I have to cross water though, which slows us down a lot. I'll pause, I'll unpause once we get to it. Alright, so I just collected the last one and we're gonna head back to Alchemy to turn in this quest. <coughs> uh I just want to say that area where we went to to get the last one, not fun. There were level 80 enemies there. It's going to have to be daytime. Oh, wait, he's right here. Friends, bring stinky thing. Give to Baroba. Give, give, give. Pew! Smell worse than imagine. This perfect. Thank you, hum hum people. Hello. Because of your help, Baroba run around outside like a good no pawn. Big thank you, this only little, but please take it. Yup, shock, done, ban, we get it. Quest completed. And you don't have another one for us, thank god. Let's go on out of here. Alrighty then. Let's go! Finally, Jesus. Onto the story stuff. No more pausing today, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Ugh. I believe. Hold on. Yep, there we go. Down here? Yep. Wait, am I going the right way? No, there we go. Okay. Got a little confused there. But we did. We're here. Finally, onwards with a story! Thank God! This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained, and my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. 
Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger before her highness. Not much use as a seer then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether. And your will is made reality. I willed it. And it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. So, as you can see now, we're playing as Melia. This is gonna happen a few times during this main quest where we're gonna swap between the uh, playing as Melia and playing as uh, Shulk and the others. I think it actually only happened. Wait, does it only happen once? And then we have to. Do we have to go through the whole thing as Melia and then we swap back to Shulk and then we do the entire thing with Shulk? I don't remember. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. Cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited. Well, what does this do? Don't touch. I honestly don't even know what is this. <coughs> Basically, telling you a few things about Melia and how she works. Also, we got Summon Wind, which increases agility, which actually isn't too bad of a thing. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do, go ahead and do that for now. Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to come here, and I wanted to switch one of these ether ops for one of the things that we got recently. 
if I can find it. I know we got it. Where is it? Ether up, ether up, ether up. Does it have to be a uh does it have to be a, a thing? Oh, okay. I see. So the ether up one is this one, and we can change for the ether up that's fifteen. <coughs> so we got ether up to um 50 plus the blaze plus the 25 percent that's going to help us with our damage over time effects i believe in this game how the um the blaze works actually if we look at it is it gives you a blaze damage so yeah each of them will actually give you like I honestly think the high end tomb was really cool. And as you can see now, we also have summon copy, which is going to help out a lot. Because I'm going to do that. Do this. Just hit him with everything we've got. Let the blaze really do its job. As you can see, the blaze is doing its job very well, especially because of the fact that we're 10 levels above this man. Oh my god! We are actually higher level at this point. Wow, I think we are a little bit overleveled. A little bit, I think we are massively overleveled. Ugh. <coughs> 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 uh. The Hall of Trials. Okay. That's certainly a name. Uh, come right over here. This should activate. Walk across. I have not had lunch yet today. I'm kind of hungry. Oh, that didn't work because the freaking blaze damage just went right through it. <laughs> I tried to put him asleep, but it didn't work. We're fine, though. As you can see, we're dealing quite enough damage. Very easy, as you can see. So, now, there's a boss fight in this game. Or, in this area. I believe... Is it the boss fight for the end of the chapter? Is it? I don't remember, like, when exactly the chapters start and end in this game. Er, yeah. At least in this area, I don't remember, like, at all. Our purpose 
great ancestor, I... Go forth and rule, my descendant. <laughs> so the spirits look favorably upon you. <gasps> Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. Mother's subject? No impure child of the Second Consort has the right to refer to the First Consort as Mother. I... I... A filthy Homs half-breed has no right to the throne. Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. Friend not clever touching button. Oh, I'm with these guys, Ryan. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? You know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? This time it is your fault. Precisely. Well, um... Be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. Alrighty then, so we are... Now back with the main party, and also, Dun Ryan, you're a dunce. Thanks for putting us, pushing that button and getting us stuck here, you absolute idiot. <coughs> you know what, let me just go collect this stuff anyway, yeah. F it. Seriously though, I wonder how they would have gotten past that situation in the first place. That scared the... That scared me. That really, really scared me. I don't think anything is actually going to attack us because of how low level everything is in here. But I'll fight them just... Even if it's minimal EXP. Because it shouldn't take too long to actually fight these guys and take them out. Seeing as how much of a higher level we are. Yep, that took no time at all. <coughs> oh, for God's sake, really? Let me just try to... Yeah! Did it. Nice. Got some money for it. Uh, I think I can just teleport back, can I? Oops, wrong thing. Area maps. I can't do two. Right back here. I guess not. I guess I'll walk. Thanks, game! Okay, and onward we go. <coughs> <coughs> I honestly don't remember how, how big this area is. Wait. Why did it switch? Oh, I guess it's either or, huh? They both go down. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Whee! How did I know that we were supposed to go down to the bottom floor? I didn't. It was a random guess and it worked out for us. I like how they don't even want to attack us. They're like, nah. 
You know what? I don't think so. Oh, that's funny. They really just don't want to mess with us at this point. Aya! <coughs> what? What is happening? <coughs> oh, Jesus! What? Are we getting any EXP for this? Like at all? Just spam all of the arts. It doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. He's got that thing. That's fun. Monado Buster! I love Monado Buster. Monado Buster is so damn cool. I still think I prefer Purge, though. Oh, God. I forgot about this. What the f Ryan! Ryan, you absolute idiot! That's the second stupid thing Ryan's done all day. Almost got himself killed. How dumb do you gotta be? Hi. I'm trying to think up of a strategy for the boss that we have to fight, because I know we have to fight the boss, I'm just trying to think up of a good strategy to do it. That is a big ball of... something. He'd look fun and sparkle, <laughs> It's not attacking us, at least. <sighs> What's happening? Hey, look at that! Another defense mechanism. And I guess we're looking at the team's gun. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. Is this an actual fight here? Like, is this just. I like how it's playing, like, a stronger enemy music. I think. Is this the boss music? I honestly don't even remember what the boss music sounds like. All I know is that this is going to take no time at all. Buster! He really just doesn't want to get broken at all, huh? Why did my chance go away? What the heck? Hello? Thank you. This is not even a fight. This is us just beating up on him. He hasn't hit us once. Everyone's just dodging everything. You see, this is why people say agility is a very important thing in this game. Because if you're just not getting hit, you can't lose. then let's see well let's go this way this place is like it like I would say I'm not sure if the original Xenoblade 1 had like a line that told you where to go but I can see getting very confused in this place 
Because everything, it's like symmetrical, so it's very difficult to actually tell. No, I guess you could just pop open the map and look. Could you pop open the map in the original? You see, I don't know. I never played the original Xenoblade Chronicles on Wii. Or on 3DS. Because, little known fact, this game was on 3DS as well. It was called Xenoblade Chronicles 3D. Oh yeah. This poor guy just got dunked on. We only gained 41 EXP from that. That's not a lot of EXP. Okay, yeah, I think we're just gonna keep moving on. <coughs> because we got nothing from that. We got more EXP from freaking finding this area than we did. We're going up. We're going up. How far up? Right there. Okay, I thought it was going to be a lot longer. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a snake eater ladder. If you don't know what that is, play Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Fantastic game. Hey, look at this. An enemy that's actually closer to our level. Monado Busta! Oh, question of the day, question of the day, question of the day. What should question of the day be? Um... Hmm... We already done Monado Arts... Uh... Huh. Wait, we're going down now? Okay. Huh, I'm trying to think of what... Mm. Hmm. Question of the day. What should it be? That didn't happen. That didn't happen. None of that happened. Oh, come on, man, really? Darn it. <coughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, which of Melia's summons is your favorite? So, like, her elemental summon. So, like, summon flare, summon ice, summon aqua, summon, uh, wind, summon earth. Honestly, I think my favorite is probably summon flare, but I know that summon, that the other summons are better, so... Minato Busta! Dude, I broke him for you guys and everything. What are you doing? There you go. I don't know why it's playing that, like, bosh. Boss music. Which way am I going? Down, I think. That was risky. Pfft. Bye, Dunban. So was this not the way I was meant to go? Was I meant to go up? It looks like I have to go up. I'm very confused. I don't remember this section at all. <coughs> Where am I going? I'm being 100% serious, I don't remember. So is it the other one? 
very hard to tell. I can't tell. So very close to... Yep, it was this one. Son of a gun. I'm sick. Another one? Really? How many of these guys do they got in here? Backslash! God, this guy just really likes targeting Shulk, huh? Maybe that strength up gem with the 4 plus strike was probably not the best idea. Whatever. Backslash! Let's not lose our heads, though. Alright, so are we climbing up this thing or are we taking the... No, we're going this way. Hello? Okay. <coughs> I guess. Hey, we've caught up to Melia. Or at least that's what it looks like. Okay, so there are kind of two ways of doing this fight, right? And it's completely party based on what I mean by two ways of doing this. You can A, control Shulk and use Monado Purge to purge the Telethia and fight the Telethia. I'm going to do this right now because we are going to need a healer during this fight. Or... You could use Melia and use Mind Blast on the Telethia to deal damage to the Telethia. It's one or the other. Shulk is going to be getting Monado Purge a lot faster. However, this is a double fight because we also have to deal with Tyrea at the same time. And since Tyrea is still an intelligent life of Bionis, Shulk will only be dealing one damage to her. So... I'm going to try this. More than likely, I will fail. I will try Shulk. More than likely, I will fail until we get the party right. Because I don't remember the exact party I used to do this. But, this is what we're going with. <coughs> hey, Dunban, how close are you to getting that, uh... Fairly close. Okay, so first things first is take out the Telethia. That's the first thing you really want to do here. Of course, the problem is Mind Blast can only be used... And of course, the even bigger problem is... Tyrea. That, Tyrea is the real big problem. See, this is a situation, because now I'm getting attacked, and I'm going to do this to seal the aura. <coughs> and you could also probably do this. Never mind, I is immune. That's not good. And of course, um, with Melia, the good thing is Melia's damage does not come from her auto attacks like at all. So you can just have Tyrea like hook onto Melia and then just run around in circles to be fine. So right, like Tyrea is now 
hooked onto me, but she can't get to me because I'm just gonna keep running around her. This is probably not the best idea to do this, but I'm gonna do it. Why didn't- oh, Dunban is da- oh god, Dunban is dazed. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that Dunban was dazed. <coughs> so here's the real good thing about- OW! Oh, this is bad. Here's the real good thing, right? Even s even though it is a Telethia and they dodge things a lot, it seems to be from what I have seen while playing this game. Telethia, what are you doing? Telethia still get hit by ether attacks. And it seems to be the same situation with Mechon. You know how Mechon will have that whole situation where they like take less damage or they don't take any damage from anything that's not the Monado? It seems to be that they still take damage from any ether based attacks. That's what it seems to be. I'm gonna inflict Mind Blast, and then I'm gonna hit with Burst End. And then I'm gonna use Summon Flare. And I'm actually gonna hold on to it because of how low health this thing is already already is. I'm just gonna let them do their job. Because now I can just foop that onto Tyrea. Hit her with a bolt. Oh, that was a mistake. I meant to shoot. That was a bad mistake. That's not what I meant to do at all. <coughs> so, I also just want to say, I was not expecting to do this well. Bolt! And then, uh, let's do Gale Slash. Thunder Bullet. Yeah, this team does not have a very high affinity with each other since we haven't really been able to play with Nelia a lot. But as you can see, this is working out very well for us at the moment. I pulled it off! Almost bought it. Alvis, thank you. My pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk, whoever that was is gone. So, they escaped. Shulk. Everyone, I thank you. You saved me. Ricky, smiley, smiley, Millie, all safe, all thanks to Hero Phone. Oh, oh. That's not how I remember it, Cheese Ball. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The Order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion 
47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Well, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Kallion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child. I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Harm's bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. Ricky and friends helped save Melly. Ricky very happy! We're all relieved. But something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the crown princess? Shouldn't Callion have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. Callion is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callion go along with this? It's a mystery. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! He's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. Alrighty then, I am in shock and awe of how well I did it during that boss fight. <coughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <coughs> I'm actually surprised at how well I did during that fight. I'm debating on whether to just like leave it off here or just like wait around here until like the hour happens and just talk about stuff. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Because if we go to the next cutscene, then it's I think a whole bunch of stuff starts, and I'm surprised I can jump on this table. I can't stand on the chair, though. <laughs> Those are really small seats. This is a, they're really short seats with very long backs. What the heck? Look at this one, too. Jeez. Still, I'm in shock at how well I did during that fight. I have never done that fight on the first try. And people, you like a lot of people have trouble with that fight too. It is not the exact an exit. It's not exactly an easy fight. It, it requires like a good team composition. If you go in with the right team composition, it can be very easy, which I think is what I did. I think it's just team comp worked out very well. Not to mention the Blaze Plus gem on Melia just also helped out with dealing pretty good damage. Having summoned Copy at this point as well. Actually realizing that I had Mind Blast, because the last time I played through this game, I did not realize that I had Mind Blast. <coughs> <coughs> so I thought the only way to actually, like, hurt a Telethia would be with, um, Monado Purge. But I'm surprised I did as well as I did. I'm very surprised that I did as well as I did. Hopefully we can keep up with our levels throughout the game. I believe the only other... Yeah, it's losing the taste of alcohol, which is just something that I really don't want to do, because it's... Getting stuff from enemies, and I hate random drops, because random drops absolutely suck. As I have stated before, they suck. Always have sucked, always will suck. Oh, he can jump on... Jesus! I'm surprised that he can jump across that. Okay, then. Alrighty, then. So, anyway, we're gonna end today's episode off here. 
Thank you all for watching today's episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. If you enjoyed the episode, you know what to do. Please share that video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I get make a new video. I upload a new video every single day of the week at 5.30 p.m. EST. And also, guys, please subscribe. We are literally one subscriber away from that 200 subscriber mark. So please, please subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition.